Hey guys, how is it all going? So today is a public holiday in the UK, also known as a bank holiday. And that is usually a tradition uh, back in the 80s to show a Bond film. So tonight we are watching Live and Let Die with uh, one on one Bronson. So I thought I'd go through some more Live and Let Die stuff. So I got one of the early books, three and six, before pounds and pence. Now I'm not sure, of course this is the other. Edited version. I think all of the books have are the unedited version, which is a new thing, stupidly. But yeah, this is a 1963 print. And then I've got this one. Pretty fancy cover. The reviews and everything. And this one is 1963. So two books so far, then the release of the film, they re released the book. There you go. 30 pence back in the day. I think they're eight pounds now. Uh, let's have a look. I should say 73, yes, 23rd printing. Bloody hell. Hardly rare, but I keep trying to collect these books, but the only ones I get are Live and Let Die, so I've got a newer one, a bit more risque. But yeah, this is a 2006 release. Yeah, this is on 6 99 already. Let's see. I think it's some nice covers for all of them if I ever find them in the track shops then the VHS unfortunately I don't have any fancy VHS I've only got the book change one collection that came out in the 90s so there's this one which is the eighth film so there's that and there's this one which is different but can you spot why it's different the inside cover is different, the label is different, it's a remastered one, but the spine's different, that's about it, because uh, the ones that come in the big box set, some of them have reversible sleeves, but not these two. I guess the colour's a bit different as well, watch has got a bit of a tan on the left, and i got the DVD, only the single disc, because what is there, three versions of the DVD you can buy, watch single disc, double disc, and then another re-release after that. But feature film with frame by frame digital restoration. That's nice of them. Commentary by Roger Moore. I wonder if I've got time to listen to this. There we go. And finally, I have the vinyl soundtrack, if I can fit it in frame. <laughs> Definitely a 70s cover. Uh, but yeah, one of the best songs. Bond themes ever by Paul McCartney and Wings. And of course, John Barry apparently sat out every other Bond film in the 70s because of tax reasons. So George Martin did the theme, uh, song for the uh, soundtrack for this. It's a pretty good one. So there you go. Philip Soul New Orleans. Let's have a look at this. Unless I break it. Ooh, there's some weight to this. Oh, he's gone. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's just standard label. It's in pretty good condition. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Here end of the lesson.